Good afternoon, this is Brian. I'm bringing you to a new property that we've updated and renovated for a new prospective tenant. And uh, let's take a look inside. This is property 207 East Pine Street. So you're greeted outside with a friendly light that's uh, brass with lead glass and a nice sound. Hello? Listen to this doorbell. That's new. <laughs> So you've entered into the what's called the living room area from the short foyer, which is vinyl tile here, surrounded by wood flooring all around, into a closet area, which uh, you can hang your garments or your guests' garments. And all the curtains, everything that you see here comes with. Um, all we ask is that you treat it right and take care of it. I'm backing up right now, coming into the, the kitchen area. We have adjustable LED lights. There. So I'm backing up into the kitchen area, separated by that little bar right here. Uh, you've got access to storage and all the cabinets, plenty of cabinet space here. All the appliances are included, stove, dishwasher, and refrigerator. Um, We've just updated it and put that tile backsplash in and everything. So right here, this is really convenient for those of you not wanting to travel to the laundromat. We provide washer and dryer, um, high efficiencies. And this is not a pantry to my left, but a little half bath. There you go. So we've got a little, it's all full size, although it's very small in here. It's probably as small as you can make one, and we've got even a wash basin we just installed for, for the new tenant. So again, gives you an idea of uh, headed up the landing. You will have access to the outside again, which would lead to the side yard and or the back. And it's a beautiful outside setting. It's a beautiful day here. In Last day of October. All this yard comes uh, comes with. We maintain it again. This is your access to the basement. But um, let's, so you've you've got three stairs to the landing, and let's count them: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 9, 10, 11, 12, and 3 is 15 stairs to the upstairs. So you have a corridor that leads to the master bedroom, the middle room, and the back bedroom. Show you the master suite, we call it. The building stays very warm in the winter and very cool in the summer. Uh, it's a brick building, and it's insulated extremely well. All the, all the draperies and blinds come with it um, hardwood floor again in here this room measures about 18 by 14 it's the same footprint as downstairs in your living room two closets for this room give you an idea got ceiling fan and ceiling lights operated on two different switches One air conditioner will, one small air conditioner cools this room very, very efficiently. And then we go to the middle bedroom, which is uh, a westerly view. You can see the sun coming in in the afternoon. You have built-in bookcases, uh, new ceiling fan here. And this room measures approximately 12 by, uh, probably 12 by 12. So it's, it's a pretty good size room. This is unique. So what we did here is we made a through way to the bathroom. So this person has actually the option to head to the bathroom without having to walk outside uh, their room. That's a vanity, medicine cabinet, and new lighting system. The bath, all, these, all this came with. We give this in. Tub shower, full tub shower, uh, shower curtains, 
We tried a new shower curtain. It has a, a scent to it. Boy, does it make the bathroom smell good. You've got your heat register in here so the bathroom stays very warm in the morning. You've got all matching uh, towel racks and accessories from the uh, curtain bar, the lights, the faucets. You've got more than enough light to see yourself in the morning. Um, you don't need to, on the cloudiest day, worry about uh, or worry about that. Again, this will close. And that's the back side. This person has access or they can open that up for the bathroom and have a little more room in there. You can see we put a coat hook there. Again, so that's what's behind the door inside the middle bedroom. I'll take you upstairs in the attic too because I want to show you how well we insulate the property. Again, the commode, you've got a toilet uh, medicine cabinet and a towel, towel rack uh, pack cabinet. We've got a mirror right here too. And then for the back bedroom, which faces south and west. Look how bright it is in here. Again, this room measures probably 11 or 12 by 14. Uh, it's a pretty large size room. The color in here is what we call granite gray and white. New ceiling fans to match. New the new type of uh, mini blinds, you just actually, what's really neat about these, you just push them up and they stay up and you just pull them down and they stay down. They're nice. Small closet. But functional. We've got a small coat rack for small belongings. And now I wanna take you on one more visit to the attic. And the reason I wanna share with you the attic is the option not only for storage, but to show you how well our properties are insulated. It's locked. I've got a light right here to run one side, your side. The attic is shared, meaning shared the neighbor has uh, the option to store his belongings up here too, not really having much. Um, that's full blown in insulation all up in there. That's uh, closed celled urethane foam on the attic ceiling. And then all this is insulated too. Again, you we run about an R50 underneath the uh, silver blankets. It stays very warm in here. Just wanted you to see that. That pretty much concludes everything that comes with the building and the property. Again, if I didn't mention it, we maintained uh, the yard and snow removal. There is a dumpster in the back for a small fee every month. I think it's like 10, 10 or 15 bucks, depends on how many people live here and how much trash you generate. But this is what we've got. And when we advertise it, it's, it'll be available. And hopefully, you'll be the lucky person to live here. Again, this room is very peaceful. This is your master bedroom again. We just put all brand new carpet in, too, if you didn't see this. This is called Indian Corn. It's a beautiful color. Just going and turning off all the lights. The hot water heater is electric here. Uh, again, you've got gas heat, very, very efficient. And that pretty much concludes it all. Folks, have a wonderful day and look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye, man.